Today, we have four similarly sized pizzas. Now that's my kind of science. I think it's everyone's kind of science. The first thing we're going to do in today's experiment is cut the crust off of one of these pizzas. Are you finally coming to the conclusion that the crust is not the best part of the pizza? While the crust is an important part of the pizza pie, the crust we're cutting off is actually going to demonstrate pie. You know that number from math class that is 3.141592653588 and so forth? I figured since March 14th or Pi Day is coming up, we should use one of the most popular pies to show how pi works. Most people learn 3.14 and stop there. I wanted my pizza without anchovies or math. Too bad. Simply, pi is the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. The ratio is 3.14 and all those repeating numbers. You're going to use pizza to make this easier, right? I sure am. We cut the circumference off one pizza at the beginning of this segment. That's when we took off the crust. Remember, the circumference is the distance around the circle. You have to also remember that pi is the relationship of the circumference to its diameter. The diameter is the distance across the center of a circle. And we're going to use the best part of the pizza to demonstrate this relationship. Constantly calling the crust the best part of the pizza isn't going to make it true. Since we have the circumference cut off one pizza, we can lay it in a straight line across the other pizzas. You will see that the circumference, or that crust we cut off, stretches across three full pizzas of similar size with just a little bit hanging over. As a decimal, that is 3.14, or pi. This is what the relationship looks like in real life. This looks like one of your tastier experiments. Ain't that the truth. Reporting from home, I'm Elizabeth Petlin. And I'm meteorologist Ray Petlin. You can have all the best parts. I'll have the rest. Yay.